In this question, we have principle number one, which states that a fair comment on a matter of public interest is a defense to an action for defamation. For this defense, the four important essentials need to be fulfilled. The first essential is it must be a comment. Second essential is the comment must be fair. Third essential is that the matter commented upon must be of public interest. Fourth, essential, fourth important essential or condition is that the statement to be considered as comment, it is essential by the facts committed upon, must be known to the audience or be made known by the person making the comment. Right. Now, the facts in the present question are, X, a well-known author and a political commentator, was asked to give a series of lectures on corruption in politics. In one of the lectures, he stated that a certain politician has been convicted for fraud and has been sentenced to five years imprisonment. Therefore, he is a, a dishonest man. Now, however, Y had been convicted for forgery. After a few days, while giving a lecture on a different topic to an entirely different audience, he gave a statement saying, as I said in my previous lecture, Y is a dishonest man. Now, Y decided to sue A for defamation based on the statements given by X during the course of these lectures. Right. So, could the statement given at the second lecture be considered as a comment or not? Now, the correct answer over here is C. That is no. In case of second lecture, no, it cannot be. Why? Since the facts were not made known to the audience, it was a statement of fact. Right. Now, the reason why C is the correct answer is if we move back to the principle and four important conditions, we get to know that by virtue of the condition number four, which is appended in this question, we get to know that for a statement to be considered as a comment, it is essential that the facts commented upon must be known to the audience or be made known by the person making the comment, right? This is important. That is, it is essential that the facts commented, up, commented upon must be known to the audience. Over here, it was not made known to the audience, right? Moreover, in case of second lecture, the same, if we read the facts properly, we get to know that in case of second lecture, the same, it was not made to the audience, nor nor could they have reasonably known it because the lecture was on a completely different topic, right? So, applying principle number four to the given set of facts, we can say that the correct answer is C.